All right. Something's coming up. What do we got, a cobia here? Oh, that's him. We can see that some clouds are burning off right now and we're just kind of looking around for something different oh there's something over there can't tell what it is let's go check it out looks like a turtle maybe we'll get on real fast teeny triple tail was on it so that's our good deed for the day pulling mylar out of the ocean stop throwing balloons up there because they end up down here but anyways looks beautiful out we're gonna keep cruising and might go check some bottom spots we got something else floating right here man this is little though but it's something different. We'll check it out. Maybe it'll be a little triple tail on it. Coconut. It's got a whole little ecosystem on this little coconut. All the little fish just ran up under it. It's pretty cool. It's been in there for a while too. All right. So it's still not our giant fish, but this triple tail looks so cool. I have to show it to you guys. He is hiding inside that broken pot or bucket or whatever it is. Let's kill him over. That is so cool. He's just tucked right up in there. So, I figured I should try to catch some fish today. Not having any luck finding the cobias in there. And since it is just so flat and beautiful out, just so flat and beautiful out, I decided to run out deep. I don't really have the tackle for it. I only got about a dozen uh, really good baits. But we're gonna see if we can pull up something out in uh, like the 100 foot range and maybe get lucky. Maybe find a cobi out there. Maybe find a cobi on the way back in. That's what we're doing now. We're just enjoying the day. All right, we got our first drop going down. Saw a turtle over there. They usually hang out on the ledge.
All right, all right. Oh my God, we're gonna have to beef up our gear. Instant chew. We gotta beef up our gear big time. Right in the rocks with it. Took it all. All right, let's do this. So that was absolutely immediate on the very first drop. It was my little rod, I should have known better, but it got slammed. So we're gonna bust out the bigger rod, bigger spinner rod. Uh, I only have 60, 60 is the heaviest leader I got with me because I wasn't planning on doing this today, but oh, I missed my mark. We're gonna go get back on our mark and drop down another big bait. All right, we got a bait. And again, don't have giant tackle. Sending it down. We're gonna lock this one up a lot more. Basically, you wanna barely be able, or what I do is barely be able to pull it out. Cause you can always add some pressure with your hand too. But we're dropping down. We got some good marks on the machine. <laughs> Let's see what's down there. That was right away on the last one. All right, all right, there he is, there he is. He's getting hit. What in the world? He got smoked on the way down. Look at that bait. Kingfish, Cuda, something hit him. We'll save him, might use him for cut bait or something. Leader's all good though. God! Oh my God, we gotta we gotta do offshore rigging. We're rig we're changing up our rig, guys. Bear with me, I'll be right back. So those fish, they were not breaking me off by pure power. They're getting me in the rocks, so they're probably big snapper. Uh, I get a lot of grouper in this spot this time of year. So. Again, I'm very undergunned on tackle, but I did just put a top shot on. So instead of having braid, I now have a fluorocarbon top shot, uh, 60 pound, uh, straight to the hook, and a little bit of lead. So we're gonna drop that down. Should give me at least a chance, at least a fighting chance of a 15 or 20 pound fish. And we are just about on our spot. Just get the thread fin there so my top shot is that long so maybe 12 or 15 foot but enough to where I should have a chance of getting these fish out let's just turn the boat a little there we go keep us off the side or front so we're not backwards All right, all right, we're down there. He's already on it. All right, something's coming up. What do we got, a cobia here? Let's get him up. Get a look at him. Little shark hit it on the way down. That's not, that's definitely not what we had before. He can't even pull any drag, he's so little. Well guys, we caught a fish today. This is an Atlantic sharp nose shark. And even though they're little, you still gotta be careful. Cause they still got teeth. Got them pinned down real good. You know what? I got a bunch of hooks. And I'm not losing a finger while I'm sitting out here on my sea dew. Stupid shark.
All right, got something hooked up. Feels like another shark. Sharks don't dig for the reef. So that is definitely not what we had last time. But we got another one right now. Might have to put a heavier lead on, get past these stupid things. Well, we caught something. Those dumb sharks, and I know that the, at least one of the first fish I had, I felt that thing hit it and just dig into the rocks. And it was definitely not a shark, but those sharks are all fired up now. I got a bunch of other spots around here, but we're gonna head shallower. I found that really nice weed line. I wanna go back and check that out. Maybe we'll find a free swimming cove or a nice triple tail on that. So that's, that's the new game plan. Start working our way in. So we don't always hit home runs, but it was a beautiful day on the water, a lot of fun. Uh, I get a lot of people ask me questions about how I have this uh, Fish Pro set up. So I'm gonna go over that real quick uh, while well, I just pulled it out of the water. So first off, if you haven't seen it, this is the 2020 sea -Doo Fish Pro. Uh, cruises at about 30 miles an hour, about 100, 110 mile range on a tank of gas. Today I went about at least 50 miles. You can see I have about a third of a tank left. My uh, fuel alarm came on just as I got back to the ramp. Um, but go over the quick little things on it. Comes with a cooler. Um, well, it might cost extra, I don't know, but get the cooler. Uh, has these adjustable rod holders that you can put around it. And there's a couple of angled ones in the front. Cooler locks shut, or latches shut, I should say. A couple drains back here, and the cooler actually holds ice pretty well. It's not the best at holding ice, but I would not go with a custom cooler or a regular cooler. I'd use what's on there. Um, also, comes with a bottom machine, and there are st uh, stereo speakers that go right here if you choose to have that added on. So, this is what people ask about a lot the live well. The brand of live well I have is called a Keep Alive. I believe it's 15 gallons. I'm not sure. You can check out their website. I don't work with them at all. It's just something I picked up at a garage sale. And I just ratchet strap it right to the back seat. And then in here, Route 1 Motorsports went ahead and set this up for me. So first off, I have a second battery in here and a battery switch just to really save me because you see, sometimes I go far out. Today we were upwards of 20 miles out or so. And then it's just a 12 volt bubbler uh, hooked up to one of those batteries and got two hoses that go through here then they go down here into the engine compartment and then they come out right from under the seat so the only hole you drill is right here this these hoses can come out here and they don't get kinked it's got plenty of air I kept those thread pins alive all day I'm actually getting rid of the last couple right now um, I run one hose through there sometimes I run it through there I just didn't feel like doing that but the bait we were using today and you can see they're still very lively. Oh, dropping them. Are these thread fins? I got about 25 of them in there today, and they worked just perfect. So that's what we're working with. I think that's any all the custom stuff I have. You got about I don't know a bunch of storage in there, safety equipment. So there you go. 2020 Sea Doo Fish Pro. Uh, Check out the guys at Route 1 Motorsports. They will hook you up and take really good care of you. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Later.